Good morning, everybody. My name is Madeline. If you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe. I make weekly fashion and lifestyle videos, and today is the start to a, another day in my life video. I'm really enjoying filming those just because you get like a little bit of everything. So um, I was about to make my coffee and I realized that I had not shown the house fully decorated for Christmas. It's going to be a very, very Christmassy day, just to warn you. I haven't put my tree up or decorated in my room yet, so I thought I would film that when I do it, but I'll show you guys what we've done so far in the house. It just makes me so excited, and I know it's before Thanksgiving, and yes, the tree will be up during Thanksgiving, so we just figured since you know 2020 has been kind of a rough year that we would prolong the christmas magic so here we go we'll start in the living room so just starting off here at the fireplace we have this little um there's probably a technical term for it but it's like a bench pillow cushion thing um that stay cozy thing is from home goods we have a little santa stockings and then we move up to the mantle which is very festive uh these are my favorite decorations this is from the polar express and it's a little lantern and you can turn it on but it just has the boy and the conductor in it um and it's kind of like a snow globe and then there's a little nutcracker guy stocking holders and then this is a snow globe that's also the polar express and it has uh, the train at the very bottom so then we'll pan over here and we have just this cute little festive area and we have just a lot of like decorations throughout so we have these little uh, cone trees we're definitely going for like a buffalo plaid theme this year in the living room books a little drummer boy and then here with the tv we're looking for some garland to put right here we had some leaves during the fall so um, we're going to add that but we have a little hedgehog guy a pine cone and then over here i'll pan out this is a very christmasy shot so we have like a book snow globe and then this is one of my favorite decorations. These are like the original Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer um, characters. So we have a basket full of them, a little book, a picture of me. I think that was on my first Christmas. And then one of my all-time favorite things, this is the advent calendar. So normally um, there's like chocolate advent calendars, but this one is super fun. I have always always enjoyed doing this um we've had this advent calendar gosh i don't know for years um it's newer but starting on the first of december my mom just puts like little treats for me um up until christmas day and it's just so cute um i thought last year was gonna be my last christmas here so this is going to be fun. This will definitely be my last advent calendar year, Mom. I promise I will be gone by next Christmas. And then we just have um, our round chair with some pillows. And lastly, the Christmas tree with a fun little hat topper. Oh, so, so good. I'll show you my all-time favorite ornaments on here. So this is a new addition, which like... I kind of love it explains 2020 so well not because only it was crappy but because of like the toilet paper outage at the beginning of the pandemic you know just have to laugh we also have a collection of these so this is uh the christmas vacation ornament collection i guess but each of them uh, kind of make a noise or they say something from the movie. It's one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. You can even see right there, we have the uh, Christmas Vacation house right there. And when you click it, the whole house lights up. So if you've seen that movie, you definitely understand. But we have a few of those. And there's the little moose eggnog guy from Christmas Vacation. It's so hard to pick an all-time favorite because the ornaments like these that are more uh, fabric -y and plush are from trips that my mom and I have taken together. I have those, I think, on my tree, which I'll show you guys later. But I think this is probably my all-time favorite one. Um, 
This is a Macy's ornament and I got one and my mom got one last year when I was living in New York and it's just really special to me and I'm sure it is to her because this is the front of Macy's in the back and there was a sign that looked just like that on the top of Macy's um, and we were there for the Thanksgiving Day Parade and obviously I got to walk by Macy's every single day when um, I was living and working in New York and it lights up but um, I just think this one's really special. Then moving on into the kitchen, lighting is going to be a problem today. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. Uh, we don't have a ton of overhead lighting in our house or big windows, so we're just going to have to make do. But this is the Christmas portion of the kitchen. We have some other things throughout, but this is the main the main girl, the main gal, I don't know. So we have little signs and then since it's the kitchen tree, there's just like little kitcheny ornaments on there. So there's a tray of cookies, a cupcake, there's a little Starbucks cup there, um, a little tea tray. So that's really cute. And then this is the dining room. It's very white and green, which I like. Very muted and simple. Um, but that's just the center of our table. And I kind of like the pop of the green pillows in the back. Then right beside the dining room is our foyer. Hello. Hey. Uh, I just like this. This is super pretty with the white and the silver. We have some pine cones and a wreath. And then we move into the library. So the library is a very pink Christmas theme, which I love because it's the girliest and most feminine room of the house. I just think it's so pretty, but we have some little character people and all of these trees, um, I think are from like Michael's. There's probably a few from Target here and there. We have some rose gold pillows and then <clears throat> pink wreaths on both doors. Over here is like a little pink scene and then our pink pillows. So that's it for the house portion, but I'll definitely film when I decorate my room and put up my tree. I'll also do a little Christmas decor haul because I have been going a little crazy at Target and like Hobby Lobby, I believe. So I'll show you guys what I got from there before I start decorating. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick off my morning with, with nothing other than cold brew, high brew. If you've been watching my videos, you know I'm obsessed with these. I really wish, oh my God, hello. I really wish cold brew high brew or maybe that it's just high brew. I don't know the brand. I wish they would sponsor me. That would be incredible. Totally forgot to show you guys this when I was showing the living room, but um, I don't know if you've ever heard or seen these before, but it's the Quality Street Chocolates. It's like an assorted chocolate tin. These are really popular in the UK. You can get these at World Market, but I got onto these when I was in New York. These were just like a little go-to treat for me whenever I wanted something sweet. This is a larger tin, but it's just so pretty when you open it. So. It comes with a little card that tells you what each are. Um, I think there's like 10 or 11 different flavors in here, but as you can see, like it's just so, so pretty. My all time favorite one is probably this one. It's an orange chocolate crunch one, but they've got like orange, strawberry, there's toffee, that's a caramel swirl. Um, that's a coconut one and there's a lot of like milk chocolates in here too. So these are really good. I highly recommend this for the holiday time. Like if you have people over, um, and yeah, quality street is another one of those brands that I really wish sponsored me because I'm just so obsessed and it's just like the perfect, beautiful little treat. Also on the subject of Christmas, I wanted to bring this up because I want your input. I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas, which seems very daunting to me because if you don't know what Vlogmas is, which mostly everybody does, um, I would be filming a video uh, every day in December from the first, I think it goes until like Christmas Eve. 
Um, I probably wouldn't film Christmas anyway, but I'm thinking about doing it and they're not going to be like super, super um, long vlogs. I'll probably just film like the main parts of my day. It'll be a lot easier on me and I won't be so stressed and I can um, put like actually quality content out there. So let me know what you think of that. That seems kind of exciting and I've really been enjoying vlogging lately. So um, let me know if you think I should do Vlogmas this year. So I'm getting ready to start The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. My mom started it and I really wanted to watch it with her, um, but she's only like two episodes in. So I'm gonna watch those two. Let me know if you've seen it. I've heard nothing but really good things about it. It looks very different than anything that's really out there. I watched a couple of minutes of it the other day and it was really good. So I'm excited to start it and I'll see you afterward. So it's a couple hours now and I just finished the first two episodes of The Queen's Gambit and it is seriously so good. If you haven't watched it, definitely give it a shot. Um, but I'm just about to have a little lunch snack kind of deal. Usually when I'm at home and like don't have to work, I don't eat a proper lunch for some reason. That's probably really bad, but um, I just got this roasted garlic hummus from Lidl. It's super good. And then I have some pretzel chips to go along with it. And I'll probably watch Lizzie McGuire. I have been loving catching up on TV shows that I used to watch as a kid. So I'll watch some of that and I really need to work out. <laughs> I know, I know, like the Christmas part is coming, I promise, but um, I'm a big procrastinator and the big stuff I usually like push towards um, later in the day. So I'm getting ready to work out. I'm just going to do an abs video with Chloe Ting. I usually honestly always work out with Chloe Ting. I just feel like her videos are actually doing something in a short amount of time. I really hate working out. So these quick videos are super helpful. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing an abs video. It's the shredded abs workout 500 reps ab challenge. I've done this one quite a few times and it's honestly like not as hard as the title sounds, but I find that right before I start my period, if I do ab workouts up until that day, the pain is not as bad. So if you experience really bad period pain, definitely work out and do some abs before you start and your pain should not be unbearable. So now is the part of the video that you all have been waiting for, myself included. Um, everything you see around me is in fact for my room. I know it looks a little excessive. What I think I'm going to do is show the newer stuff just because you can get your hands on it still if you want it. So I'll go ahead and start with some candles. The first one is Sugar and Spice by Opal House. And then the other one is Peppermint Snow, also by Opal House. This one just smells like sweet peppermint. And then this one smells like sweet and spicy, basically. Um, I like the little candles like these just because, honestly, 
the scent throws really well and I feel like I don't need to be bombarded by even more of the scent. Next up is this throw blanket that I really love. It's green surprisingly. I've been very into green lately. I am not a green gal but I really do like um, this color green in particular. Uh, so it's fuzzy and then on the inside it's uh, sharp aligned and it just says Mary all over. So this is by the Wonder Shop brand. That's like their main Christmas brand at Target. Next I found this really cute ornament. This is what it looks like. And apparently these um, were really popular like in the 70s. Oh, I also believe this lights up. Um, but the bigger version of this was really popular in the 70s and Target actually has these. They have like a middle size and then a larger size, both in pink and white, I believe. Um, but I really thought this was very cute and I could not pass her up. You'll see later, but my tree, which is behind me, is like flocked. Is that the right word? It's flocked. And then all of my ornaments are primarily pink, gold, and silver, I believe, with some exceptions. But um, this is my new little pink edition this year. Next, I am so obsessed with these and I did not need them because I have, here, I'll show you right now. I have a ton of trees just to like scatter throughout my room kind of like how I have a ton of pumpkins to scatter throughout my room I have like pink ones silver ones I have some gray feathery ones but I really really loved these they're kind of like velvety in a way and this is the smaller one of these um, this is also by Wonder Shop so I got two small and then I got one large and I'll show you in a second why I got these because I got some little some little friends to go with them so next up I think this is primarily Hobby Lobby this guy was a gift but I know he was from Hobby Lobby I got a little Grinch plush because he is my absolute favorite thing ever ever during the holidays I don't really know why either because it's not like the Grinch is holly jolly um I feel like I just relate to him he's a little harsh but like he cares a little bit about people <laughs> just kidding but I have this little Grinch and Hobby Lobby also has a Max which I want to go get and then I found a Cindy Lou Who plush so I have an ottoman right here in front of my bed and I want to put like all three of them just kind of sitting there that's so ridiculous and like I'm 23 but it brings me so much joy so this is my little Grinch guy just to stay on theme I got this pillow from Hobby Lobby. It says it wouldn't be Christmas without me, which I think is a total mood. Also, just to add, uh, I think Hobby Lobby's Christmas stuff is like 40 or 50% off right now. So if you see anything you're interested in here, definitely go get it. And they have so, so, so much more than just Grinch stuff if you've never been to a Hobby Lobby. So these were the little friends I was talking about to go beside the trees. Oh my gosh, what if he's bigger? Oh, he's about the same size. Um, but I got this little, I think it's a wooden thing, but it's the Grinch with Cindy Lou Who, and I wanted to put him like beside these little trees. I don't know, I thought that was so cute and it would kind of look like Whoville. This was also from Hobby Lobby and to go with I got a little Max. He's so cute. Yeah they're about the same height. Last Grinch thing I believe also from Hobby Lobby I got this little Grinch tumbler. It says naughty or nice work in progress and it's got like the Grinch, Max, and some stockings and candy canes. It's so cute. I will definitely be carrying this. And I think this is the last brand new thing. Um, I got another ornament and it's a watermelon slice. So when it comes to ornaments on my tree, like I mentioned, most of them are like pink, gold, or silver. There are some exceptions, which I'll show. Some ornaments have special significance to me. Some of them just remind me of something in my life, or they're just cute. I have a hodgepodge of different things, but this I got for Harry Styles, Watermelon Sugar. That was a huge huge song this year so that's why I got the watermelon slice I have one too 
where it's like a little sushi plate and my mom got me that last year when I got back from New York because I literally lived on Trader Joe's sushi so um just cute little reminders on my tree like that so I think that's all of my newer stuff I'll show my favorite ornaments once I get them on my tree that's everything over here okay I think that was enough Christmas hauling we need to get down to business let's get this tree up Christmas tree is done decorating. I think it looks so, so good. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite ornaments. So this is the one I showed you earlier on the tree in the living room. That one's from Macy's. So all of these that are kind of uh, cloth-like 
are some personal favorites because I got these on my travels. So like this one I got at Kensington Palace and it's representative of Princess Diana. This one I got from Bath, England at the Roman Baths. That one is from Fornham and Mason. And then like this one I got at the Rockettes last year in New York. Um, I got that at my 21st birthday in Vegas. This one's from Buckingham Palace. That is Windsor Castle. This one is so pretty, but it's from Westminster Abbey. And then this is another that I love. It's a raven and I got it at the Tower of London. There are actual ravens there and they're huge. They're like the size of a small dog. And when this one too, I got on my very first trip to New York when I turned 16. And I just have a couple of other ones like that throughout. But I also have like some just, you know, cute little baubles. That one I got in London as well. Some themed ones, like there's a passport, there's a figure skate. I used to figure skate. So um, yeah, this one is like a little jellyfish. No ties to jellyfish, but I thought it was cute. So that's the tree and I just decorated. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. So this is right beside my bed. It's my bedside table and I've had these trees for a while. I think I got them like, I don't know, the beginning of college. So I've had these for a good bit and I think they're still really cute. And then here's the ottoman in front of my bed. It's very Grinch themed and I love it. And I definitely think he needs some friends. So I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for them. And then moving on over here to my dresser, here is more Grinch themed. Those are the trees that I showed. Hello again, uh, from Target. And then the little figurines were from uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I just have these cone trees. I have one more. Uh, over by my door, but I think these were all from Michael. So Target, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, even Kirkland's. I would definitely go there for your Christmas decor. I also just put a couple of little neutral things in my bathroom, but that is it for today's video. Thank you so much. If you made it to the very end, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe if you aren't all ready. I actually don't have to work tomorrow and I think I'm going to film um, another day in my life. So definitely stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.